back to the Ibble South by Southwest expert panel showcase, bonsai extravaganza, who wants to be a millionaire? So happy to be here. Wow. It's your old pal, Sean, and I'm joined by my new pal, Chupan. Yes. How you doing, my friend? I, I'm doing good. I'm doing well. You've, Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. You, uh, you will find out in a moment. This guy is way too cool to be talking to me. So uh, but I'm gonna try to get on his level. He's my bald brother. And, uh, as a result, my friend, my friend, I love it. I appreciate love it. you. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, there's a lot to dive in and talk about. Sure, you're gonna, you're sure. gonna do some NFTs and all this. You're sure. a plastic surgeon. You're a man of many talents. Tell us about you. Yeah. What do people need to know? Yeah, so so my name is Chuma, Shikeyobi, and I live in Austin. I'm a plastic surgeon in Austin. And uh, let's, let me plug Austin. Austin is a fantastic city. I lived here for nine years. I like it. There's no better city in, in the world, in my opinion, to like live in. Your so, opinion is the correct opinion. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy that we get to have an event like this where people come in every year. There's two big events that we have there, several other smaller ones. People come in and they enjoy our city and it just breathe a lot of life into what we're yeah. doing. So, so I do plastic surgery and I also i am into digital art and yeah. uh, people call them NFTs colloquially. And, uh, yeah, I spend a ton of energy on, on that. I founded GMI Advisory, um, gmiadvisory.io, which is a platform that I, I use to educate creatives um, and um, you know brand managers um, and collectors who are interested in the digital art space yeah. and NFT technology and, and what's it can potentially do for like what their, their business is essentially. Sure. But I really, it's, it's a platform for me to just kind of educate and talk about yeah. one of my passions, which is um, digital art and, and NFT tech. And so you can check us out at gmiadvisory.io. Yeah. Um, we're here today to just talk about just NFTs and, and why I think they're cool and you know whatever questions you have, you know we can yeah. go in whatever direction you want. Man. Well, you, you, you were telling me a little bit before off camera that you got in this space in 2017 just because you were interested. Yes. And obviously, it's really, a lot of people have joined you now. Yes. And it's getting more and more momentum. Yes. What kind of drew you to that in the first place? Yeah, so uh, it's, it's interesting. It's, um, I don't want to get too emotional about it, but you know, I, I work um, just down a, the, a few down blocks street. away, and I was yeah. walking into work uh, like on Thursday or Friday, and I came out of the garage, and I saw this like installation of um, it's a company called Doodles, and it was just crazy because I'd known about Doodles in this other like world, and and yeah. seeing it like in the physical space was like just kind of crazy. But long story short, man, like with NFTs and digital arts and collectibles, I just kind of got into. I got a. I discovered like cryptocurrency yeah. in 2016, uh, just kind of randomly, and then. From there, I discovered digital collectibles. There was a project called Crypto Kitties. Uh, they're basically these digital cats that you can um, you collect them. You can basically breed them. Yeah, yeah. You can buy and sell them. Um, it's like it, Pokemon, but with it's money. Like, yeah. It's exactly like Pokemon, but yeah. uh, you know, it wasn't a very like financially lucrative thing. It was yeah. just kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, famously, the the activity it became so popular for a period of time. It basically. Um, it, it, it didn't really crash. It kind of um, clogged up the Ethereum blockchain. Got it. Got so it. It, it made news for that. But essentially, it was kind of a fun thing. I still hold a bunch of cats. They're not worth anything, but they were kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fast forward to 2021, really. 2020, 2021, when um, there was kind of a resurgence in the space. But I was kind of in that kind of the whole time. Yeah. And so, yeah, um, people just realized, uh, I think, it became more realized that the technology underlying was very uh, empowering for people who are creatives and making art, because it's now possible to have essentially it's like a, it's like a signature. It's like if you made a piece of art and you signed it, or like whoever, like Picasso, right. or you know whoever like made, makes the painting, they sign it. Years later, you're trusting someone to say this is actually a Picasso. Is this a real signature or is it a fake? I mean, you yeah. have no idea unless you're like, you can't even track if you're an it expert. 100% true. Yeah. yeah, you can't. Uh, even the experts, there's fakes that are still sold to this day are physicals where like wow. they look really real. With this new um, tech that we have, it's practically impossible to do yeah. that. Like if you make something and you mint it as an artist, mm. then 
it's timestamped and, and everyone can easily check with the simple smartphone yeah. uh, to figure out that, that you made this, when you made it. That's cool. Uh, and that's um, a very compelling yeah. um, proposition. Reduces for uncertainty. Are, yeah, down to yeah. like almost zero, right? On top of that, it's possible now with code to, if you make something, like uh, if you make a beautiful piece of uh, digital art or, or a photograph, a JPEG, like you said, um, and you put it up for sale, um, it's possible now to set it up where whenever it's resold on secondary, you get a royalty on that. Yeah. Uh, and you can have that be the case in perpetuity, essentially yeah. forever, which is a very, uh, which doesn't happen for artists today. Right. And it's very compelling for creators to say, hey, you know what, like this is like awesome. I can just like, yeah. not only I can get greater reach because you can now like price the thing a little lower in the beginning because you know when it resells. Yeah. If it resells, then then you're compensated. So yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I think you're gonna see a lot of interesting use case in music too. I can imagine, especially like we're in a streaming age right now. Yes, yes. But I can imagine like if an artist, like let's say Kanye decides for Dunda 2, he yes. wants to do like an exclusive, you can get the copy of Dunda yes. and then you can sell that one and people can kind of share that. I, I can see a lot of the ways that this opens up yes. the, the potential yes. way that we experience art as a whole across the spectrum. You're spot on, man. And yeah. it's, it's like, to me, I feel like it's it's basically limitless uh, yeah. or limited by people's creativity yeah. as to how to approach this. But you're right, there's music applications, you've got like gaming applications, um, you've got like, you know, visual art like we see today. Um, and then there are gonna be other things beyond like arts. I mean, to be honest, it's gonna be like finance applications, you know, there's already some of that. Yeah. You may have heard the term DeFi. Yeah. Maybe there's all these like, you know, like cryptos out there, but even for like kind of regular people, um, you know, ways to just kind of financialize things, medical records. Sure. That'd be um, huge. You know, people's like real estate, you can have like deeds, like I think you said that earlier. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so there's so many applications of this stuff, but totally. it's basically a way to verify information online in a way that's hard to fake right. and immutable. So. No, that's really good. Yeah. So, so Chuma, for someone who is new to the game, yes. like me, what are some easy first steps for them to get connected in this space? Okay, fantastic. So uh, are you talking about like someone who's like interested in like okay. art as a collector or just someone, as an enthusiast or like well, as an artist? Actually, let's start with artists and, let's, and then we'll go to uh, collector enthusiasts. Okay, if you're an artist, um, I think the best way is to start dabbling with the tech. Yeah. Um, so nothing is financial advice, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor, so that's important to say up front. But I do, I feel I'll like... I'll give you all my money. Tell yeah, me Yeah, give me all. Um, only cash. Um, <laughs> Smart man. Oh, Bitcoin. Um, <laughs> um, I think the first thing is education, man. Yeah, so. Yeah. You can certainly tinker with things. You can download a MetaMask account. Are you familiar with MetaMask? I've heard of this, okay. but please educate. MetaMask is basically, um, it's, a, it's a, think of it as like, a, it's a wallet uh, uh, platform, yeah. but it's basically yeah. almost like your portal to the blockchain. So if you are uh, to Ethereum. So the blockchain is this ledger that keeps track of stuff. Sure. So when you have an NFT that's minted, let's say you make, take a photograph of this beautiful scene. Yeah. And you say, okay, I'm a big design photographer. I'm, I'm taking one of these. I'm going to try to put it up in the marketplace. It's an NFT. That photo is secured on the Ethereum blockchain as like yours. It's basically signed on there. Um, MetaMask is what allows you to interact with the blockchain. So yeah. when you go into your MetaMask like ad wallet, you can now see what you own and whatever you own and whatever you own, whatever transactions you've done. Yeah. So I think Dablin, um, as you're educating yourself, sure. when you're ready to move past that, I would recommend finding someone who is um, maybe in the same sector or same kind of field of art as you, yeah. uh, who's uh, a little bit ahead in terms of like, their time in the space. And, and I can like help with that kind of thing because I am, you know, I, I talk to these artists all the time. Yeah. So if you're like if a photographer or like, Digital yeah. art or physical, I can just give you a name. That way, you you com you compress how much time you have to do, like making mistakes and exploring. Yeah. And someone can just give you, a, and the people are very friendly in the space. Totally. Um, so yeah, I would say a combination of dabbling and talking to people, and then at some point you'll feel like you know more. 
it's, it's hard to feel like you know enough, honestly, because yeah. it's like such a huge space. Right. Uh, it's like really like, and it's grown exponentially and it continues to grow exponentially. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend. If you're a follower, if you're not a follower, if you're uh, you might be a follower on well, Twitter. How, how can they how can they get connected with you, Chima? Uh, how so, can they so you can find me. So, so I'm on Twitter um, at Dr. CCO at Dr. CCO, um, and I'm also at GMIadvisory.io. So that's the website where you can send the uh, message us on there. Um, if you're a collector, I think still Twitter is really the best place. Because there's, you know, um, and then having a curated Twitter, like a kind of a TL, you know, so you can yeah. figure out who's really real and who's saying like real stuff, signal versus noise. Yeah. To me, and then just some dabbling, and at some point you feel comfortable saying, okay, I wanna, you know, buy some piece that I love. And there's a whole range of things you can buy. You can totally. spend like 10 bucks on like, some nice art that you like. Spend a million bucks on some art that you like. There's everything in between, right? So, and then if you're gonna mint as an artist, you can say, okay, uh, and you know, my platform can help you with that. If you're trying to figure out how to do a basic minting of whatever, like a JPEG, right. on like a marketplace like OpenSea, or um, there are a bunch of marketplaces like, uh, you know, OpenSea. You probably, probably heard the term. I've heard the term. It's a massive open. Yeah, so it's like yeah. eBay. Yeah. People sell their stuff all the time. So. Yeah. Uh, so experimentation, education. And Twitter is just a big, 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 big part of it, in my opinion. So there's a, you got a hub, you've got a wealth of wisdom, you do it all. Uh, they give us some Dr. CCO on Twitter. Yeah. And then GMI. Uh, uh, advisory. Advisory. Uh, .io. .io. GMI advisory .io. Mm -hmm. uh, Chuma, thank you for taking time oh to my educate God. us. I, this has been helpful. I, it's, it's cool. Again, like I'm learning so much. Like there's so much use case to this. And, there is. And I think lot. we're gonna see a huge wave for yes. sure. There's a so. huge wave, and I would encourage folks to just like just stay, keep your mind open, and just explore the, uh, the this tech and the space. Um, and uh, yeah, I like the app by the way. So, um, oh. Ibble, yeah. shout out. Yeah, uh, shout out the app. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a place to me, for to me, to me, it's like, yeah, it's, I mean, I've, I've, I, I learned about it recently and I played with it and I, I get Quora on my phone. Um, just, um, and it's kind of, I don't, I'm not always on it, but it seems like a better version of that where like, you can actually just interface by video. Pay to say questions. all of that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the check. Come on. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I must have bounced. I didn't get the Bitcoin. <laughs> it is, it's, it's, it's crypto, dude. It's crypto. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's in the mail. Um, so, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's been a great time. I'm so sad it's over. I had a great time. Dude. Well, we can still hang out after this. <laughs> hang out thanks for this. taking time to be of with course. us, Shiva. Appreciate you, brother. Of course, absolutely. Go give us some love. Dr. CCO. Thank you.